Hey guys, Shnike here, and welcome back to Titan Sun's Lumber Coast. Now, we're getting back into this game, we are on night 5, and we're going to be continuing on from where we left off. And where we need to build a golden mushroom, okay. Big Bruce! Big Bruce! Bro, what are you doing? Gold? Okay. Golden frog, golden seabuck, gold farm. What the hell? Okay, but I think to start off the episode, I want to get the magic heart for this guy. I want to see what that guy has to offer. So yeah, let's, let's find a mini game and do that. Take the lumber from the trees. Make some get the wood from it. Because I would rather have some more wood with me. I oh, is a mini game, alright. Time to hold shift. Boom, 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 boom. There we go. First try. Give me that magic heart. Nice, nice, nice. Alrighty, alrighty. Uh, now we just gotta find a place to plant. Here looks like a good place. Let's see. What is this thing? What is that unknown? Oh. Hello, this is Mixless. You know, the person oh, who made this game. Let me tell you an interesting story about this very object. Okay, here we go. As you probably know, it is referencing a similar object that could be found in my first uploaded game, Baby's Nightmare Circus. Baby's in Nightmare fact, Circus? It uses the same model. Why you ask? Because I'm lazy cow. I'm actually lazier than any cow that ever existed. And here is the problem. When I started developing the very game you are playing right now, Taikan Sons Lumberco, I had that brilliant idea of mixing Five Nights at Freddy's and Chipper and Sons Lumberco. Turns out that was the worst thing I ever started. You are what? probably wondering why I would say that. You probably think this is the best game ever made. Oh, yes, right, my mind. it is the best game it's ever one of the made. Best. Yet my biggest mistake. I had a tidy on an afternoon. I modeled the Chipper at 1.0 and thought this needs to be in a game. But it shouldn't be a small game. No. After yes. one single bathroom <laughs> break it was decided. I was going to make a game that would eventually take me one and a half years to finish. I graduated during the time, and I also made that stupid baby on a bike game. I hadn't even finished classic mode at the time of my decision. How could a lazy person like me take on such an ambitious project with everything else Clearly going not on? Lazy. Let's just say it didn't go that smooth. Why was I so stupid? I don't know. Why am I telling you this through this item that you just got a second coffee to go for? Because I had no better use for it. But one thing is certain. It should be obvious, but to those who are as uneducated as I was back then, don't do the same mistake I did. Don't or throw away one and a half years of your life for such a spontaneous idea. It isn't worth it, at least not when started. As it is now though, this game will always hold a special place in my blocky yellow seal heart. But I've learned from my mistake, and I hope to have helped at least one well, so person to make, to make the right decisions. Now, I'm sorry for breaking the fourth wall here. I will get some tape to get it put back together soon. I will now try to implement this bit into this game's storyline. Let's just say that this part right here is a dream. Mike took some really bad let's say substances that nobody should ever take. Mike didn't wake up from it. He tragically died. Wait, what? 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 Oh, come on. Are you serious? Oh, fuck off. Oh, well. <laughs> well, we gotta make a golden mushroom. Well, I guess first we gotta make the gold farm. I'm gonna have to play a mini game again and get a flower pot. Fuck. Okay, what do we have? We do not have much wood, so we're gonna have to rely on... ...on this again, guys. Get 40 again. 
where the place to get my get coins from this. Uh, boom, boom, boom. So, grind the coins for a bit. Till we get to 40 and then we'll be good. Oh, that's also another coin right there. Let's see, what, 10 lumber? A lot of stuff. Okay. Move my mic closer to my face. Uh, boom, 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 boom. Oh, no. Okay, one more. Boom, 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 boom. Okay, it's time to go. Let's get our flower pot. Let's try and find out how we're gonna get our gold. So I cannot recall, I can, I can remember seeing gold somewhere, but I cannot recall where I've seen it. I think it's Retrotopia, right? It was, it was in the Retrotopia, I think, from memory. check Retrotopia first, see if it has the gold. Yeah, yeah, level four. Gold. Let's do it then. Whoa! Okay. What the hell? Alright, this looks like it could give me a bit of a challenge. Oh, okay. Oh, I got blocked off. I guess that trick works, so I guess I can try and go for that. Damn, what am I doing? Fuck. Whatever. Stop messing up. And we'll be good. Fuck. I need to wait for the bird to be on the opposite side of the screen when I do that. I should have listened to myself. Didn't. All right, well, we'll just not mess up this time then. Be patient this time. Very close. Oh, he's chasing me now. Okay, there's nothing else I have to fear for that and just keep holding left. There's none like ahead of me anymore. I'm fine with that. There we go. Nice. We've got our gold. Okay, now we can make our gold farm, and we're good. Thank you. Okay, we still need to get our magic heart and flower pot, which we're gonna get the flower pot now, and then we'll do the mini game as well. Flower pot, flower pot, there it is. Oh, I just needed 20. Like, for some reason, I thought it was 40. Guess, I guess I was wrong. Oh well. He looks so happy, that's so nice to see that he's so happy. Brings a smile to the face. Yep.
It's always like the two second mark for this. Okay, that's our magic art. Now we got everything. We got everything we need. We are good, we are chilling. Now we just need to find a place to put put it. Collect coins along the way, because why not? Collect a drawing because we can, I mean. Let's go here, let's let's do it here, since it's cl the closest. Okay, I don't need to raise any objects, just craft. Gold farm, boom. Let's check the plans. Okay, this... Okay, I just have to wait. Wait for gold here. Okay, it wants me to make a mushroom though. I still need more funny fungus and rotten fungus. That's an issue. I guess we gotta keep destroying the ugly stuff. Whatever. So I don't know how to get this fungus other than from the weeds or whatever the stuff are. So I guess that's what we're going to be doing now, is destroying these guys. Okay. This is what it's going to be for a while guys, so hope you don't mind. I don't know how to, else to get fungus, so that's unfortunate. Maybe there's a plan that will give me it? I don't know. Look at all that stuff. Okay, let's see how much gold we get from this. Two. Yikes. Oh well. Old sword, alright. I'm gonna do a quick Google search just in case. If there's a quick way to do this stuff. So. Rotten. Fungus, Tyke, and Sons. Oh, fun. Uh, okay. Let's see. Plans. What do we need? Funny Fungus. Uh. Okay, I can't find anything online, so I'm just gonna keep doing what I'm doing. Because it's the only way I can remember that you can get it some. And while I'm doing this, I'm gonna slowly collect stuff. May as well mine these trees down then. Free coin. Don't mind me. Just in case I need coins, I'll just collect those. Okay, now we're gonna go between these two areas. This will be more efficient. Hopefully we can get the rotten fungus and the funny fungus somehow. Because I don't know any other way to get it. Oh, this might take a while. Oh well. Especially since I need to get both things. Which seem to be very uncommon. Bruh. I 
I'm not getting anything right now. Nothing. Just nothing. Crazy. Oh, there we go. We got a funny fungus, finally. One. Come on. Come on, where, it, where is the stuff? Come on, give me the funny fungus. Give me the rotten fungus. Come on. Where is the stuff? Come on, drop, drop the stuff that I need. I swear, if there's like an area I can go to that gives this stuff, I'll be pretty annoyed. Both axe, bro. Come on, I don't even need an axe. I don't need an axe. Seriously. This this game's wild and bro. Look, I, I am ten. I'm nearing ten gold now. This is ridiculous. I could get golden sea bills soon. I'm gonna. It's rotten fungus. How about funny fungus? Nowhere. It's nowhere. <laughs> Come on. Whatever. So I guess this is the only way then. If there's no. If there's not a thing on the internet for how popular this game is, then I assume that there's no other way. You just gotta keep doing this. Which, if so, a long part of this video is going to be just trying to get the pieces that I need. See, I got a run of fungus finally. I still need two more though. I mean, one more. Because I need two more funny funguses and one more rotten. It's gonna take ages. Oh well. Hello. You this gotta be kidding Nick's me. List. I don't you know. Want the this. person who made this game. Let me tell you an interesting story <sighs> about this very object. Okay, here we go. I'm gonna wait through this. Know, it is referencing a similar object that could be found in my first uploaded game, Baby's Nightmare Circus. In fact, it uses the same model. Why you ask? Because I'm lazy cow. I'm actually lazier than any cow that ever existed. And here is the problem. When I started developing the very game you are playing right now, Taikan Sons Lumbico, I had that brilliant idea of mixing Five Nights at Freddy's and Chipper and Sons Lumbico. Turns out that was the worst thing I ever started. You were probably wondering why I would say that. You probably think this is the Gotta best game this ever made. Fucking well, bullshit. yes, it is Come the on. best game ever made. Yet my biggest mistake. I had a tidy year on an afternoon. I modeled the chipum at 1.0 and thought this needs to be in the game. But it shouldn't be a small game. No. After one single bathroom break, it was decided. I was going to make a game that would eventually take me one and a half years to finish. I graduated during the time, and I also made that stupid baby on a bike game. I hadn't even finished classic mode at the time of my decision. How could a lazy person like me take on such an ambitious project with everything else going on in life? Let's just say it didn't go that smooth. Why was I so stupid? I don't know. Why am I telling you this through this item that you just got a second coffee to go for? Because I had no better use for it. But one thing is certain. It should be obvious, but to those who are as uneducated as I was back then, don't do the same mistake I did. Don't throw away one and a half years of your life for such a spontaneous idea. It isn't worth it. 
at least not when started. As it is now though, this game will always hold a special place in my blocky yellow seal heart, but I've learned from my mistake, and I hope to have helped at least one person today to make the right decisions. Now, I'm sorry for breaking the fourth wall here. I will get some tape to get it put back together soon. I will now try to implement this bit into this game's storyline. Let's just say that this part right here is a dream. Mike took some really bad let's say substances that nobody should ever take. Mike didn't wake up from it. He tragically died. Okay, that bit is finally done. <laughs> oh god. Okay, I better at least have the stuff. The items. Wherever they shall be. Okay, I still got them. Good, good. I didn't lose any. Oh well. Back to grind. than I need. No, okay, I'm just kidding. Oh, I did it again. This is Mixless. You know, I fucking did it again. Let me tell you an interesting story about this very object. I can't okay, skip it. here we go. As you probably know, it is referencing a similar object that could be found in my first okay. uploaded game, Baby's Not Surface. For this stuff in fact, it in uses the same way this model. Time. I'm not Why you ask? This. Because I'm lazy cow. I'm actually lazier than any cow that ever existed. And here is the problem. When I started developing the very game you are playing right now, Taikan Sun's Lumbico. I had that brilliant idea of mixing Five Nights at Freddy's and Chipper and Sons Lumberco. Turns out that was the worst thing I ever started. You were probably wondering why I would say that. You probably think this is the best game ever made. Well yes, it is the best game ever made, yet my biggest mistake. I had that idea on an afternoon. I modeled the Chipper at 1.0 and thought this needs to be in a game. But it shouldn't be a small game. No. After one single bathroom break it was decided. I was going to make a game that would eventually take me one and a half years to finish. I graduated during the time, and I also made that stupid baby on a bike game. I hadn't even finished classic mode at the time of my decision. How could a lazy person like me take on such an ambitious project with everything else going on in life? Let's just say it didn't go that smooth. Why was I so stupid? I don't know. Why am I telling you this through this item that you just got a second coffee to go for? Because I had no better use for it. But one thing is certain. It should be obvious, but to those who are as uneducated as I was back then, don't do the same mistake I did. Don't throw away one and a half years of your life for such a spontaneous idea. It isn't worth it, at least not when started. As it is now though, this game will always hold a special place in my blocky yellow seal heart. But I've learned from my mistake, and I hope to have helped at least one person today to make the right decisions. Now, I'm sorry for breaking the fourth wall here. I will get some tape to get it put back together soon. I will now try to implement this bit into this game's storyline. Let's just say that this part right here is a dream. Mike took some really bad let's say substances that nobody should ever take. Mike didn't wake up from it. He tragically died. It's finally done again. Let's just stay in the main area. How about we do that? Let's just stay here. There's nothing to risk pressing here. So we're good. Alright, this will be much better. Hopefully we can get this fungus out of the way. Come on. 
It's gonna take ages. I was watching a video and somehow they had a lot of fungus and stuff. I don't know how they did, but they did. Is there anything in the plans that has to do with fungus? What is this? This to do with presents? I guess. Maybe I should be placing these down. I don't know what to do with the lumber, so I might actually. So let's do that. Yeah, there we go. This will be better. Now I've got multiple stuff going on. Got presents coming in. This will be much quicker now. But there we go, funny fungus. It's still gonna take a bit, but it's gonna be much quicker. Wait, is it every time I exit and enter the area? That's does stuff. Might. I'm gonna test that. Okay, if I go do this and this and then exit back out. No, it's not immediate. Like I assumed. Okay. Let's take this stuff. I think I've got it now. Nice. There we go. Nothing here I want to get rid of. So let's go over here. Let's place it here then. Okay. It's about time that you play with Fun Fungal. He likes to play hide and seek and you know what that means. Got to try and find him then. Got to look. Keep your eyes out guys. Eyes wide and open. You could be anywhere. Where is he? Uh, don't see him. Let's get coins from this area. Why is there nothing there? Oh well. I don't see. Okay, let's go further. Okay, let's collect the mail. Get the stuff. Move on towards beating the game. I, sh I should have had these ages ago. If I had many of them, oh my gosh, imagine that. That'd be crazy, bro. Okay. Whoops. This could be an area he hides in. There's a lot of stuff around here, so... Uh, oh, there he is. Wait, where'd he go? I clicked on him. What does that mean then? I clicked on him, and now he's... I don't know, just fucked off. Not here. I'm not going to jump off. <laughs> Screw that. I'm not doing that. Is he down here? Let's see. Is he down here? No, I don't see any. I don't see any. Alright. So I guess now we just head to left and see if we can find it. anything new. I already caught him once, so I'm confused. Maybe he has multiple hiding sp spots and maybe I have to go back again. At some point, I don't know. Could not tell you. Oh! Okay, got him. Uh, where else? Keep your eyes peeled. Okay, he's not over here. 
So where is he now then? Let's check down? I guess while I'm here, I'll check down here. May as well, I'm, I mean I'm here, so I may as well. See if he's down here. Causing a rave or something, I don't know. We'll see by being here. Don't see any mushroom right now. Still no mushroom. Maybe there is no mushroom here. And I'm making a big mistake and being stupid. I don't know. Still do not see any mushroom. But I'm gonna check everywhere for him. Oh, mind giving me a hundred Roborocks in return for a golden egg? I will at some point. Because is there anything over here? Don't see anything by the looks of it. Wait, this looks like Bruce. Wait, oh, I can't bring up the, the plan, but this looks like Bruce too. That's weird. Whatever. It's Bruce, bro. Oh no, where am I going? <laughs> Get back down. Alright. So we must have to head all the way back again. I'll head to the mountains again. Just in case, you know, Mr. Mushroom just changes places every time after you find him. Because maybe now he's hiding in the mountains. I don't know. Boom, 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 Light bulb. So I don't know what that's for, but light bulb. Maybe he's near the submarine area. I don't know. <sighs> I swear I've like looked everywhere, so I don't know where this guy is. If he's not anywhere else, I look. I don't see any mushroom, so let's keep moving. Don't really see anything. No, you wouldn't be in there, that wouldn't make sense. Alright. Don't see any mushroom. Don't see any mushroom. Do not see any mushroom maybe in here. What's up there? What is that sun looking thing? Who knows? Oh well whatever. So there's nothing in here. Alright. Don't see him around here. Don't see him anywhere here. I just want to make sure by Looking around, yeah, but he's not here. Not here. It's not here. Where the hell is this guy? Oh, there he is. Okay. See, that wasn't so difficult. Now come home, the party is going to start soon. Okay. I don't mind a good old party. Sounds good to me. So are you excited for the party? Yes, I fucking am. Awesome. By the way, Seabull just messaged me that he won't come. He said that he needs to prepare something important. What a workaholic. And on the annual Mushroom Festival too. Anyway, go get a shower. You want to make a good impression on our guests after all? See you in a few hours. In a few hours? Wait, so not yet. Oh, never mind. A few hours and 27 minutes later. You're late. 
Oh well, better late than never. Time to introduce yourself to the guests. Hey man, I remember you from the city. Nice party, thank you. Oh, the owl, we got the ducks, the, the young duck. This is a really cool party. But I wanted to meet Seabill so badly. Seabill's a busy man. I'm sorry that you couldn't show up. Aww, that's unfortunate. They're going on an interspecies date, by the looks of it. Oh, hey. Hey, buddy. What is up? <laughs> what? Don't look at me like that. I want to tell you a story. Every year during the Mushroom Festival, someone falls victim to a ferocious monster mushroom. It cuts them open, takes out the innards, feeds on them, and impales his victim's dead bodies with a wooden log. Interesting. I am not making that up. I got it from Stone Steve. If I were you, I would be very cautious this night. <laughs> that doesn't sound good. <laughs> what are you implying, buddy? The staring contest is intense. That was interesting. Yeah, I'd rather not. So, have you been nice to everyone? We need to make the best impression possible. It would really help our reputation. I could take it away from here on out though. It's late and you shouldn't stay up that long. Good night and don't let the monsters get you. Ha <laughs> It's not like I haven't been doing this for the past four nights. Later that night. Wait, the party's still going on. We can hear it. Alright. Whoa, what the fuck? What the- Whoa, who's that? What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell? What the hell was that? What the hell? What the hell was that? God, that thing is terrifying. Why? Why is he terrifying? Again. Oh, great. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Ah. Okay, we're safe. Go away, stupid mushroom. Close. Close again. I right, close again. Oh, close again. Close again. There's no way it's still going. Okay, there we go. Oh! What's going on? Click and use... Why? Why? Huh? Oh, what the... Whoa, 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 whoa.
What is this? Stay away, buddy. You are terrifying. Stay away, stupid mushrooms. Stay away, you stupid mushrooms. Oh, come on. Whoa, what's going on? What's going on? Oh, God. Nice. So apparently now we're sleeping after all that. Somehow we're finding sleep. Only in this video game will you be able to sleep after something like that. Seems like this case is closed. Mr. Fungal built those these robots to cause terror at night, therefore he is guilty. He was a bit sketchy to be honest, so yeah. I'm sorry for the false accusation, Mr. Chop. Hey, no problem. I get that a lot. I feel like you have the wrong person, Mr. Frog, sir. Quit! Oh, quiet, Veggie. You were the only person that ever owned a mushroom robot. Well, who made the mushroom robot for him, though? I call that 100% proof. <laughs> no, it's not. There is no doubt that a weirdo like you would commit all the other crimes. Mr. Chop, I'll be back soon. Not only am I a cop, but a tax collector too. Now come with me, Mr. Fungal. Oh wow. Well, would you look at that? Maybe if we're lucky, that mushroom head will spill the beans and help Chipper soon. Seems like most things worked out though. Look how happy I am. Look at my grin. You're right, there is, a work, there is work to be done properly. However, there is one thing that I need you to do before you can dive straight into all these wonderful tasks. So will just write me a letter that he is terribly sorry for not showing up at the party. He also said that he prepared something during the time, and it'd be worth it. He wants you to meet him 600 feet under. What could that mean? Go find him and tell me if it was really worth missing the party of the century. 600 feet under, alright. I'll get over. I'll go over there. Fine. I'll go there. Let's get over to him. It's gonna take a while to get there because the traveling in this game makes this game... It's the only reason the game is long is because of the amount of walking you have to do other than that. This game would not be this long. Also if I wasn't constantly messing up and clicking mix mixless as well. Elevator music's kinda catchy, I cannot lie So, that's why I'm singing to this song Because it is such a beat At the end of the song, oh well that's sad It's time to go 600 feet under the ground
This is what he means by 600. Oh! This door was never open before. Was it? Let's go. Oh! Wait, are these. These are the chipper mats that we have. Wait, why are they down here though? These are the. They're the same. This 1.0, 2.0, and 2.5. I think this guy was 2.5 or 3.0. I can't remember. But what? Blueprints? destroy wait this is the thing that um the seabill was talking about that attacked the attacked him this is the same vehicle sensitive tracking robot operating incognito that's this is the same vehicle weird isn't this the machine from seabill's story yeah what would a blueprint of that thing be doing here that's what I'm wondering. Oh, whoa, what the f- Oh, you. What? Oh no, we've been taken. We don't seem to care though. Oh, it's fucking Seabill. Seriously? Seriously, how dumb are you? First, you actually went to my oil rig to let yourself get it attacked by my mecha bird and now you follow me this far down without any context because you still think I'm the good guy here naive you want an answers right well you probably saw the chipper mats on your way here I built them and programmed them to cause terror in the upper world at night but you beavers dodge it all jail death being trapped in this factory really everything I came to the conclusion that the best solution was to just lure you down here. And that was easier than I thought. Don't worry, I'll just kill you off. You're trapped after all. What can you do? Use your watering can? <laughs> now that you know the truth anyway, I'll just tell you the whole story. Do you have any idea how hard it is to keep a secret like that? <clears throat> I might introduce myself after all this time. I am not Seabill. I'm his twin brother, Zipa. A few years ago, I wasn't doing well. I built robots for a living, but wasn't able to sell any of them. What? My brother saw the potential in me, and being the good bro he was, he offered me a partnership. Oh, what a kind brother! Zipa's a lad, but he wanted to take the spotlight, and back then I thought that this was fair enough. At least I got paid. I worked down here in secret with the engineers, making plans and building robots. But Seabell's ego soon took over. He didn't see me as his brother anymore, more like one of his employees. Is this the villain arc, I guess? I just wanted to experience what it felt like to be the star for at least a moment. Then I created the special robot, Summer Crab, and all the others. Even the mushroom you can see in the background. But the people weren't ready for an evolution like that. Oh yeah, we definitely weren't. They were scared, and Seabull Industries TM was put in a bad light. Seabull got so angry with me that he fired me and told me to never come back. How could my bro do this to me? Twitching eye, I seek to avenge, so I built this machine I call the Destroy. Ah, it makes sense now! So he's acting like he was the survivor, but he was actually operating it. That makes sense. I hid the machine and came to visit the remains of the house people saw something. They thought I was him, and I knew that this was my chance. Also, we actually did eliminate him. For the past years, I pretended to be him. Wow. I mean, fair enough. All I'm gonna say is, this guy's backstory is fair enough. I mean, fair enough. 
when Tyke let you out, I already knew that the first thing you would do was to explore every nook and cranny. Your beaver's always snooping around. Your folk is the worst, Mike. You probably knew all along that I am a shitty person. Now you're going to starve down here. Also, I'll make sure that your parents join you very soon. All beavers must be cleared from this island. What do you mean? Okay. We're in the dark. Mike? Is that you? Wait, is that really you? Chip! Oh my! You've got an old. You look like your father. You know, like a beaver. It was a few years ago that I stumbled across the truth behind Seabob. And he trapped me here before I was able to spill the beans. He trapped a lot of people who came close to finding out, actually. I don't know how long I've been down here. I was hoping that someone would find me. How have you eaten? How have you drink? How are you alive? I have many questions. And now you actually did that. And we're trapped together. That's not good. What? You think that everything will turn out well? What makes you think? What? Yes! Strange travel. Let's go. Ta-da. I followed you down the cave. Saw the whole thing. See Bob, I mean, see Bob. He has to be stopped. He wants to take out your parents. He has no remorse. All he wants is his secret to be safe, and he thinks that he can achieve that by killing off the beaver family. What a fool he is, though. Now go, take this exit. Interesting. Ah, what? How? Well then, challenge accepted. It has been a long time since I've used this machine properly. Let's see if this baby still works as good as when I killed my brother. Like I assumed. <laughs> Step up! Wait, what? <laughs> We're on Strange Traveler, I guess. What? Okay. What is going on? It's nice and simple so far. Dang. Got a hit on me. Oh gosh. What the hell? Okay. I needed that heart. Okay. Oh, oh gosh, what is going on? Ah! No, damn. Got hit. Okay. The chipper mats. No. Gonna get this last chipper mat, come on. Defeat him already, please. There we go. Okay. Uh, oh gosh, oh gosh, it's very close, no, can I get the heart, no I couldn't, fuck, okay, still did that damage alright, oh we got a dodge, heart heart, nice, oh, okay, 
may as well just dodge. Damn! Damn! I'm getting smoked! How am I supposed to dodge? No. Okay. No! Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh, I was about to get that hard. Fuck. If I didn't lose so many hearts in that one attack. Damn it. Let's try not to mess up this time. Okay. Let's try not to mess up big time this time. Okay. Damn it, you're getting hit. Okay, at least I have still max health. attack in that other attempt we nearly first tried this game I meant that bit not this again wait again this happened to him before Mike wait father he's still here Arr, beavers you're always in my way Mike time to go down I mean up. oh no Oh, strange traveler, you got this. Help us. Oh, I'm gonna click. Yeah, save me. You got the epic final ending music. You gotta love this kind of hype bit. Look at it, look at strange traveler go. He's got this. He's gonna save my Look at him. Yeah. Yes, strange traveler. What a savior. I've had it with you. 
Let's see how well you take this. Come on, strange traveler. Use all your power to stop this. Go on. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Goodbye. Okay, he's gone. <laughs> wow. You need to teach me that. Later that night. Am I going into another night section? Okay, good. Good. <laughs> I see, I see. I've made a mistake then. And I'm terribly sorry, Mr. Fungal. I'm also very sorry, Mr. Fungal, because I thought you were suspicious as well. I mean, you're both mushrooms, so naturally... I just realized that sounds speciesist. I'm sorry, Fungal. I I'm sorry for my remark. I'm very sorry. <laughs> it's okay. Sorry for being such a weirdo. <laughs> yeah. Most sane person in Ohio. <laughs> Most normal person in, <laughs> in Ohio. <laughs> so it looks like everything worked out in the end. We know who was behind the chippermats attacking us at night and the missing people. Though it will remain a mystery as to where those other robots came from. Yes. But a mystery is there to be cleared. One day. True. It's not like there has been any law ever t that took more than five years to solve. Is my brain being stupid? What is this referring to? I don't know. Oh, are we, is that referencing Five Nights at Freddy's in general? I'm leaving now. If anyone needs me, I'm in the underground disco. The GJ is running it now. So maybe it won't be as expensive. Okay. We should all go to bed now. Or do you have any other plans, Mike? Mike? Mike is traumatized, buddy! <laughs> oh, what's this? Wait, this give me ending... Ending... Five... Stop! Oh my god! Oh my god, the game's over? Are you kidding me? No. No, it's not over. There's no way. It can't be. It can't be. It can't be. It's not over. It can't be. It's a fantastic game. It can't be over. It can't. Please. No! Man, what a game. What a fucking game. That was fantastic. No matter how annoyed I got at some bits, this game was amazing. I cannot deny that. Amazing game. Oh wait, we got a character. I was about to say that's from those nights of Rachel's, but I should have known that that's Project Readjusted. He stole him. Oh, he did! He did! I actually did forget he stole him. <laughs> Fair play. <laughs> the revenge story. He takes his character. It's just like promoting the pawn. He's promoted. He's promoted into. Uh, he's promoted into the queen. He's, into, he's promoted into Buster. Based on the successful game Chipper and Sons Lumberco, yeah. I know about that. Enjoy the rest of the music now. Alright. Let's grab myself a cup, cup of tea. Nah, I won't. Well, it's the end of the game. That's crazy. This will always be down as one of my most favorite fan games because it's very inversive. Wait, what's this? I can't read this. I hang out with someone who's German, but I can't read this. I can't, I can't read this. Ich hoffe. I'm not even gonna try because the person laughs when I try to speak some German. <laughs> I'm not even gonna try.
Goodbye. Wow. Oh, and we're back into the menu. Oh. Oh, we got a trophy. Oh. Oh. Oh, a, a trophy. Well. I'm just gonna see if there's anything and if this is truly the end of the game. There is always something to do in the world. You could visit your grandfather at his shed. He likes to have com a bit of company, you know. However, if you feel like resting, I can also open up the cabin for you. So what if I do this? Oh, what the fuck? A custom night? And with more characters? Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no, how do I go back? How do I go back? I don't want to do this. Oh no. Oh, I can exit back to the menu. I guess that works. Let's just let's just do more stuff. Well, let's let's visit Chipper this time. See what happens. Let's see. Let's see what there is. Hey, Mike. So nice, nice of you to visit your old grandpa. That's me. Just to clarify. Guess what? I did some thinking and planning. I came up with something truly amazing. It has to be built first, though. There is no problem in putting together all the pieces, but the materials here have become mouldy over time. I would go collect new ones, but... Oh, my back still hurts from the final boss fight. I wanted to ask if you could perhaps, you know, bring me everything you need. Bring me 50 pieces of wood. We're not done yet, but... Um... Okay, I don't have that, so... Sorry, buddy. You'll just have to be homeless for now. That's fine, right? Wait, why am, I, why am I doing this? Okay, so... That's done. There's, there's still so much to this game. What? Uh, what? What? Portal generator? Portal? What the fuck? What is this stuff? What? A wooden frog? Where am I getting a wooden frog? Whoa. Uh, I'm just gonna explore for a bit before I end this episode. I just wanna see if I can find anything. Oh wait, wait, look at the sign. It doesn't have that, like, there's any descent off on anything. It's just goodbye. Interesting. Anything new in Magic Cave? Nope. All right. Well, let's continue on. Let's collect our stuff. Give me the items. So this rate, I feel like the game's gonna start to turn into. Maybe there's an end game to this. I don't know. I feel like there has to be an end game and something to do with the acorn set. Just that by itself means that there has to be more to this. Because like, I feel like I've completed the main story, but it's one of those games where you can keep playing and get more things, get more things done. Maybe get more trophies as well besides the one that I have I don't know I cannot tell you if it's the case because I do not know okay what's in here oh the Bruce head the Bruce head's in here wait why why am I going here what's my reason I don't even know why why am I going here why am I why am I here <laughs> Alright, let's check out Retrotopia. Oh, wooden frog! Oh, it's right here. Oh. <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing here! We're just walking. There's nothing here. Nothing. You 
can't be serious right now, bro. What's this gonna be like some sort of trap at the end and I'm just gonna get killed? I don't know though. Let's see what happens. Right, chip up, buddy. Well, no, Mike. Oh no. It's that simple. I guess. Thank you for the wooden frog. Alright, so there's the alien and green pipe. I have not gotten either of those ever. So I think I'm going to do level 3 and level 5 and then I think we're going to end the episode after this. Because I was about to say there's nothing here. Where's the bird? Where's the bird? Where's it gone? I don't even know where the bird is. It's just gone. <laughs> There's no bird. There's no bird. Ah, I see, so level four is a mix of this and the bird. Oh my god. Except th this ending, he's very, very close to us. That is actually scary, bro. He's not gonna catch up to us, so we're too quick. He can't do anything about it. Let's go. Easy prize. We got the green pipe. Let's get the alien now. Wait. Whoa, what the f Oh my gosh. <laughs> that still hit me. attention in this one. Holy crap. Alright. Okay, gotta really focus this time. Okay. This is going to be very scary. Okay, this is scary. Okay. Okay, good. <laughs> this is scary. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. Oh, I thought it was done. Oh fuck. Oh fuck. I thought it was done. I'm done! Yes! Oh nice. That was a very tough one. Very scary as well. We got the alien though. This ugly fuck. We got him. Maybe there's something for building everything. Ooh, I didn't think about that, guys. Maybe there's a thing for building every structure. If so, I'm going to do that. Anyway. Okay, there's both of those golden. Okay, so... Let's try and find the ones we haven't built yet. So, done all these. I haven't built this yet. I need a glass cage. Alright. And then the portal. I just need to do a mini game. This, I need to get the whale plushie again. Okay, I'm gonna get every building, I guess? Okay, no, no, no. I need a lot of coins for that. Oh, do I? No. No, I'm gonna end the episode here. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, stick around for more content. And I'll see you guys next time. Maybe I'll continue this game, getting all this extra stuff, I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time, goodbye.